Now let's go to the last part, that is to create something useful when I hover over it. So right now I don't know like what is the exact value from this bars, but we're gonna learn it right now. To do that, I'm going to import a few things, but first let's create the tooltip styles. The tooltip on Visex, they have their own styles but I prefer to customize it a little bit. So let's import first default styles from Visex tooltip. And with the default styles, I'm gonna import the use tooltip, the thing that I'm gonna to use to uh, add the tooltip to the page, to the bar, and then um, the components that is tooltip with bounds. Uh, I, I use this one because I prefer it to show the tooltip in a way that the user can see it. So it respects the bounds of the bar chart. And here I'm going to customize it a little bit. So default styles and then border radius for the background is black. The color is white and the font family is the same one as the chart. So this one, um, yeah, this way. All right, so this is the tooltip styles. Let's define the tooltip now inside of our component. So here, const uh, equals use tooltip. And the tooltip here has a few things that are exported from it. So first is show tooltip, then hide tooltip, then tooltip data, tooltip left, and tooltip top. Uh, these ones can be, as you can see, undefined, but I need them to be only numbers. So I'm gonna initiate them with zero as their values. Now let's create the tooltip um, data. It has to be, or it should be outside your SVG element. So write tooltip data. So I'm not, not gonna render it if it doesn't have any data. And cool, let's add here tooltip with bounds. And this two tip with bounds, uh, I, I'm gonna, it's not self-closing, it has something inside of it, but let's add the properties here. There is a trick here to add it when like, so it doesn't uh, bug with the values. It's to add a key that is literally math.random. So it re-renders the tooltip every time that I move it. Uh, this is a cheap re-render, so that's fine. Then top is tooltip top, the left is tooltip left and then the style is tooltip styles cool now i need a prop uh, value inside of it but first let's just yeah render it with asd asd classic one for debugging we need now to define a way to show the tooltip when we hover over the the bar chart and remove it if we go out of it. So on mouse move and on, oops, here is mouse and then on mouse leave. On mouse leave, it's the simpler one. It's literally just going to hide tooltip, that's it. But here I need the event and I need to add the types for this event. So this is event, touch event, SVG, rect element, or it can be a mouse event for SVG rect element. Cool, now an array function, and then there's a, a thing on D3 that gets the local point of the chart that you're writing um, when you are moving it around. In this case, we're gonna import it from this X. So it's local point from 
this X event is really, really helpful. Touch event is not generic. Oh, yeah. I need to import these things from, from React. So import touch event and um, mouse event. Um, cool. Now the point that I'm talking about is this point equals local point and then I just pass the event to it. It's pretty simple. If there is no point, just return. And then if it does, then show tooltip with exactly these properties. So now it should at least show this ASD ASD in the right place. So um, let's see if I, yeah, it shows on the right place. But now we should show some data on it, right? I would prefer to show like some bold data first and then like telling what it is. So the date and then here the data. So for the data, I'm going to do it like get y value from the tooltip data because this is basically just a data point from this one. What is saying? Uh, oh, yeah. So I forgot to pass something to here. Um, they use tooltip. Oh, yeah, I, I knew it. Um, it's a generic so it accepts the type from the tooltip data so i get it from here and then let's just show it like this date oh yeah it's showing you see but i need um more from it because first this is a price right so i need to format it as a price format the time to format the time there are a few ways, um, but first let's, uh, we need to format the date for the, this one, but let's do it first for the, this one. All right. So this is an empty string and then actually I don't need it. So time format. Oh, it's not going to import. Um, so yeah, time format. comes from D3 time format. It has a bunch of different ways of formatting your data, but basically the one that I'm gonna need now is slash B percentage D and then percentage year. So month, day and year. And then this one new date date uh, get x value from tooltip data I think I'm I have like more than I needed here right so cool this should work yeah and it does so here you see I have the properties here cool but now I yeah first of all I want to have a percentage yeah, um, dollar sign here to be a price. And then now I want to format the bottom axis the same way that I formatted this tooltip. So tick format is going to get the date and then time format. This one, I'm going to need it to be z uh, D and then new date from date yeah and i think that's it so now i have a responsive chart that i can put anywhere i want so cool so you see that with d3 you have all the basics but with physx it's way simpler to create charts using react it gives you a bunch of uh, utils and a bunch of ways of um, doing the basic 
and the advanced charts in a very simple way. I hope you learned something today and if you did, please um, subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, add them to the comments and I see you soon. Bye bye.